Howdy, howdy. We are going to get this trailer ready to repaint. And we're gonna cut some of the screws off if they don't come off from the old boards. And then I'm gonna power wash it. Let's go. These guys out. Hmm. Oh. Look at that. I'm tearing that up. So out of, I don't know, 15, 20, I got one, two, this one is just sharp, rusted so bad. Goodness. Glad I didn't step on that. Barefoot, you know, like I do. Two, three, four, four. And uh, one broke off, so five. Gotta get that out from down there. That's what vice grips might work. Uh, other than that, that's good for now. I am not sure if I like the wiring on this. Because originally, it all went down here, down this way, and then it went that way. Because it's still got the things for it. So I might rewire it. I don't know. Let's get these off. So this the color I want to repaint it. But I do like the way it looks now. I really do. But it'll look nicer if it was painted. So, yeah, redo it, this color. Still add. And re add this pinstriping they got along here. I like that. Cannot find a VIN on this dang thing. Must have been homemade or something. I don't know. Was that a sticker? Is it a sticker? Well, I took off all the paint. I guess it was uh, actually painted on there. Yeah. Hammer that down a little bit. As soon as I'm done power washing it, I am going to remove the electrical wiring, lighting, parts, and stuff like that. And I'm going to grind down some of that rust and probably take the wheels off and then put it in my grass and primer it.
at your address. Should probably be a different day. All right, let's get to power washing. So I didn't make this tight enough. Well, that's where it falls back at. Needs to be a little tighter. Okay. Now that it is all power washed, I've noticed a few things. It's bluer. It's bluer. Uh, I think I need to drill some holes somewhere because water retains and it's rusting and I don't like that. Let's, I'll show you that right here. Right inside here, a little crustiness. I still got water in it. I'll drill a hole down right underneath here. Out of doer. Oh. oh, it's doubled. Damn. Oh, no, it's not. It's right here, do. And that'll be it. I would like to add that this trailer does have brakes. But the, the um, what you call it, the wiring system was cut off. I didn't get that wiring system. Okay. And you find a better kit for that. Yeah. Kind of grind wheel this. Angle grinder wheel. Just kind of skim the surface everywhere. And prep, say it's prep for paint. I'll prime it and keep the blue, add the stripes, and add a wood. And wiring. And the brakes. And I found a dent right here. I wonder if I can dent that out. Let's see. That's a no. And I'm sure it'll just break off. Using 220 grit sandpaper just to go down the rough spots. And I gave up on the grinder. Just got down the uh, heavy stuff. So uh, I'll go around this this way. And do uh, another wash. Then I will hopefully have my paint in a few days for primer. I don't want to have to worry about rust anymore. I know, just figure out what color paint, what blue specifically to do. So, when I sit here and drift off of my metal.
I think that about covers it for this segment of video on this trailer. I think there's gonna be two more on this, and I think I'll be done with it. Next one will be priming, primer, painting, and then coating it or finding the color I want. Right here is the Ford blue for engines. <laughs> I mean, it's close to the blue that was there, but I don't know. I mean, blue does fade when it's been sitting for 14 years. And that trailer used to be blur. So, overall, I'm not trying to do a great job on the, the paint. Just trying to get coats on it. Make sure it's kind of clean, kind of cleaner. I don't know. Anyway, rambling on. Until next time, bye.